and welcome to the show. I filmed this in 2012, starting about the beginning of April, and uh, finished it just the start of August, the same year. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, I enjoyed making it. Our walk starts just here, alongside the Bishop on the Bridge Pub. We go down the slope there, and along the footpath, and follow the River Itchen down to the Weirs, and then Seagram's Flour Mill. This is now the only visible section of the city wall that remains, completed in the third century AD and enclosed an area of 144 acres. The Roman name for Winchester was Venta Balgarum. That building at the end is Seagram's flour mill, which is now converted into apartments. There have been a mill on this site since the 12th century. The weirs were constructed to increase the water flow to the flour mill. couldn't resist taking this photograph of this lovely magnolia as I walked towards the water meadows.
Come along with me then, through this small gate, along the footpath to the water meadows. I hope you like swans, because in this program there are many. This chubby chap was inquisitive as to which make of camera I was using. I can tell you now, it is a Nikon, or Nikon, whichever you like to pronounce it, P500. This is a good spot to sit down and have a break and look out over the river, the playing fields towards St Catherine's Hill. More pictures of the Water Meadows Walk. This footbridge that takes you towards the nature reserve is a favourite spot for young anglers. Another footbridge that takes you over to the Winchester College playing fields. We leave the water meadows now and make our way towards the nature reserve. On our way there we pass what was a pumping station. It is now offices.
crossing this bridge from right to left, we go into a sports field, walk straight across there, and head on down towards the nature reserve. I don't know if it is still Britain's most favorite pastime, but it used to be when I was a nipper. just a little further down this track and we will be at the nature reserve. Most of the filming done in this area was in May this year and of course there was an abundance of wildflowers.
I expect by now you've noticed the varying sizes of the signets. This is because these photographs were taken at different times during this year. If you continue on down this path, it takes you down to the Etchin Navigation, which is very picturesque. All around the area you'll see little streams like this. They were made apparently to irrigate the meadows. Well, this is just part of the Itchen navigation. We are going to stroll along here towards Winchester until we come to a bridge, we'll cross that and come down the navigation on the other side where that guy is with the yellow jacket. We are then at the sluice gates along the kitchen navigation. One of our neighbours once lived in one of these cottages and they used to catch plenty of trout, possibly from the kitchen window. Here is the bridge I was talking about just now, so follow your leader down the other side of the Itchen navigation.
looking back from whence we came. Onwards then to the base of St. Catherine's Hill and onwards down the southern part of the Itchen Navigation. This is Tunbridge and we are going to cross over to the other side of the navigation to look at something I think you will find interesting. Years ago, when coal ships used to deliver their coal to Northam in Southampton, some of it was offloaded into coal barges and this was brought up them it's in navigation to Winchester to be unloaded there or en route to Winchester as it were. You notice on top of that plinth it says 12 miles 3 shillings. <laughs> now we will go back over the other side again and continue our walk. There's our bridge again, let's go past it and venture southwards. There are two paths running down this part of the navigation. We will take this one. Not advisable when it's very wet and slippery though. Looking back then to view the landscape. Can anyone tell me why a swan tucks his left leg or right leg onto its back occasionally? There in the distance is the hospital of St. Cross. Pasture land at the foot of St. Catherine's Hill. How do you fancy walking up this stairway to the top of St. Catherine's Hill? I did recently and had my lunch up there, which was very nice indeed. Well, there is something you could do if you have half an hour to spare. Climb those stairs.
Here I'm sat at the bottom of St Catherine's Hill, panning right. Take a good look at this photograph, especially at the tall chimney on the left-hand side. Now, this is the chimney of Marchwood Power Station, the other side of Southampton Water. The next photograph is the one that I use my telephoto on to get a close-up of it. This is the Hospital of St Cross, taken from the top of St Catherine's Hill, Winchester Cathedral, and finally, the Itchen Navigation. As you can see, this notice board depicts some of the activities that took place on the Itchen Navigation. And the one we're going to look at now is where there was once a water-powered sawmill. Well, here we are at the crossroads, decision time. Uh, we are going to take the Itchen Navigation Southampton route, which will take us down today to Shawford. I think this is the prettiest part of the route we've taken today. There are thousands and thousands of wildflowers, and I'm sure you'll like it. Here we go then. Thank you. 
Depending on what time it is, this is a nice spot to sit for a while and have a short break, a cup of tea or something like that if you brought it with you. These chalk streams around Winchester are considered to be some of the finest in Europe. In this particular stretch, for instance, you can catch trout, eels, and even salmon. It is amazing how clear the water is. This is the bridge pub at Shawford. After you've had a refreshment, if you like that is, we'll make our way back to the crossroads. Looking at the signpost, you will see St. Cross. That's where we are off to now. We're going to walk along Five Bridges Road, turn right into a farmer's field, have a quick look around the hospital of St. Cross, and then make our way back to the water meadows where the three seats are overlooking the river and St. Catherine's Hill and that's where our walk will finish. Since I started making this DVD, I've walked along Five Bridges Road many times, and I have never seen this signpost before. It looks as if they've unearthed it, either from this spot or from another spot, and put it here. 1932, it says. That's when I was born. Now this is part of the River Itchen. This home is right opposite the entrance to the Hospital of St. Cross. A 
along this path then and through a gate and a short distance then to the water meadows. Here we are then at the end of our walk. Take a seat, relax and enjoy the scenery. Bye for now. Bye. When all the clouds darken up the skyway, there's a rainbow highway to be found. Leading from your window pane, just a step beyond the rain. Happy little bluebirds fly beyond 